2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Knot Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. I'm Luke Elvie alongside Rich Beam and Rich, as this player starts their round in the lead, what should be their focus for today? Well, they've, they've got the lead and there is a significant chasing pack so they can't get too wrapped up in what's going on behind them. They've got to kind of keep their nose out front. They got to keep pushing along and play the golf course. Don't think about who's chasing you down. Just think about playing the golf course. But if you do find themselves falling back a little bit, then they need to go ahead and start making a, a little bit different push, maybe come up with a different game plan. But right now, out in front, they just kind of have to play the golf course right now and, and keep that in their sights. Certainly excited to see how today plays out, Rich. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. <laughs> Playing from around 150 yards here. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the first. Just six feet between here and the hole. Well, that's a nice way to start, writing a little red number down on the scorecard at the first. Trying to make a statement early and often. And after that hole, this player currently holds top spot on the leaderboard with Xander Shoffley in second. Here we are at the second tee. And that's a nice strike. This one should find the fairway. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. What an amazing approach shot. I think their rival, Harold Varner III, has a worthy competitor this week. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. This one started out on a good line. That's impressive. He just keeps extending his advantage over the field. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Teeing off here at the third hole. Nice birdie back there. On to the next.
Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? They can't quite see the green here, Luke, because it's elevated, it's much higher. They're definitely going to have to club up. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Yeah, disappointing not to find the surface, Rich, but I like that play. A bit too much club there. This part of about six feet coming up. Ooh, nice line. Well, that's an early statement right there. That hole looks double the size for this player this week. He's currently sitting in first place. Next up is a par four. Always a stern test. This one looks to be headed towards the fairway. <laughs> Setting up here, coming off a run of birdies. Always a good way to start. Let's see where they go from here. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this part 14 feet from the cup. What a putt started this perfectly. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. This guy is putting the lights out of it this week. Now, leader really starting to gap the field now. Their advantage is nine shots. It's time for a one-shotter. Well, you're a ball striker, there's no doubt about that. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Looking good. That's a lovely putt to make for Birdie. Take some pride in that one. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Leading by nine strokes after that one. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. That's nicely done. Second shot here on the sixth. That one should find the surface. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. Still in the lead now after that hole. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. And coming off the booty, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Look with water down the right-hand side, most players are gonna be taking a driver out and bailing down the left-hand side. Maybe something less to avoid that fairway bunker down there. Still a fairly generous fairway from there. Second shot plays downhill, oh, about a half a club. Generous size green, bunkers kind of dotting all sides of it, but not overly difficult. I think you can see a fair amount of birdies here. Henny, what's the player facing here? Setting up from about 130 yards out. Woo, 
Ooh, back there, Horsey. A wonderful shot here at the seventh and sets up another birdie chance. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. What an opportunity to make a birdie. That's pretty tidy. And down it goes. And with that hole behind them, this player currently holds down top spot on the leaderboard and Xander Shoffley is second. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Put a little buttercut fade on that one. This one's going right at the pin here. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. This putt coming up is for birdie. Nice stroke. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. There's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Playing from around 210 yards here. Not able to find the green in two, but a bold play. Lots of greens and regulations today for this player, but not so on this occasion. These putts really add up at the end of the day, right on 12 feet. That was a gallant attempt. And this putt coming up for his par. And just with nine holes remaining, Rich, what do you think here is going to happen for this player? Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun to see where these two end up at the end of the event. Yeah, that's just not going to work for him. Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that lie. Now, this first cut is just lovely. It's almost like fairway. No worries here. Going with the hybrid. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Well, it looks like they tried to be bold there, Rich, but it didn't quite work out for them. Hard to control the distance when you're coming out of the rough. Well, these are good putts to make. Good for momentum right on seven feet. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Well played. Now seven strokes up after that hole. Time to tee off on the 11th. Oh, seems to have got a big piece of that one striped.
no harm, no foul there with that shot. Just outside 10 feet to the hole here, right on 11 feet to be exact. This for a birdie birdie run. This is a good chance. And down it goes. So that's back to back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. Our current leader is enjoying an eight stroke advantage. Now on the tee after a birdie. Fired up and ready for more. And choosing the eight iron here. Club up. I like this play. That's some good golf right there. An opportunity for a birdie here. Yeah, you'll take that. A quick look at the leaderboard has this player currently in first place with Xander Shoffley in second. Well, 13, that's unlucky for some, Rich. Absolutely flushed. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Yeah, he's looking at maybe a little over 130 to the pin. So I might need to sit. Yeah, that was a safe play. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. It's a bit disappointing. Putting for a par now. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. And now that finds him in first place. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Well done. This shot from around 210 yards. Looks to be going with the five iron. Yeah, that one will play. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. Oh, just missed. Oh, that would have been outstanding to make the eagle. work here is done let's head to the next hole our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now now on the tee fresh off a birdie a great opportunity to build on that momentum <laughs> yeah 
This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Time now to play the second shot on the 15th hole. Wonderfully played. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Go on, get in the hole. And that will drop in for birdie. Kind of like it, two in a row, he's feeling it. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. And now we find ourselves with a par four here. Nicely done. From about 100 yards. This is looking pretty good in the air. Oh, that was so close to going in. That's a great shot here at 16. It sets up a chance for birdie. Oh, a nine-foot chance here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And this one is for his par. In the end, that will be a disappointing par after such a great approach shot. Leading by six strokes after that one. And we've arrived at a par three. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. That was a great shot at the right time. Got to say, I can't see them not making birdie here, Luke. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. Well played. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Setting up here from about 200 yards. This one is all over it. A yeah, quality shot, that. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. What are we looking at for this part, Henny? It's 13 feet out. Unlucky for some. This is on a great line. And that'll be all she wrote today. Well played. 